Hi guys, I just want to either showcase something or if it's been done before or if it's a normal thing uh, then yeah correct me on this because as far as I'm aware this ain't normal. Um, so what I'm going to show is the from the car battery which I've got a resistor on there just to bring the speed down. Uh, it's going to be obviously driving the motor, it's a DC 12 volt motor. It's going to be in the spot, uh, flywheel, it's going to be Inducing power into this uh, bifiler coil. He's got, as you can see, two strands, so they're round, round uh, together at the same time. Uh, I believe that's 29 gauge, fairly thin, but not that thin. Uh, the power from that, sorry, is going to run through the black, uh, black lead, and then go to this transformer that's going to be connecting to the high current side. Actually, I should keep that level. Yeah, it's going to go to the high current side of the transformer uh, and the output of the high voltage is going to go to the bridge rectifier and these two capacitors these are 35 volt 4700 microfarads there it is yeah 4700 uh, UF and 35 volt my focus on this camera is not that brilliant it's way it's a camera phone so <laughs> Uh, and then, sorry, when the output from that is going to go to this little DC motor here. Uh, you might think, oh, that's a normal setup, but yeah? Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of looks like a normal setup in some. Okay, I'm busy. Um, it kind of. It looks like a normal setup, but it behaves uh, differently than what I'd expected to do. So I'm going to obviously just show you what's going on. So I'm going to put the power into the motor. Probably should use my other hand because you'll be able to see better. Okay. It's a bit noisy at first, but then it levels out. Uh, so I'm going to short the AC. Um, yeah, it's still accelerating, but what I'm going to show actually with that is disconnect the power. Uh, do that again, but I'm going to short it at a lower speed, and you'll see that uh, the lens effect still happens, but at the higher speed, it happens less. So, the power back in. Then short it across these turns here. Okay, normally it happens. Ah. Typical, it don't work on camera. But as you see, it's still accelerating. I'm now going to connect it to the high current side of the transformer. It's going to run fine, but as the caps fills up at the back here, the whole thing will slow down. I'm going to put that slightly more forward. So the caps are filling up. The whole system is slowing down. I'm now going to run power to the little DC motor over here, shorting out the cap. <coughs> and it all speeds up again. It's the same effect when I dead shorted the AC over here, it's still ran fine. So if I disconnect that now, the motor, let the caps fill up again. I know the caps are filling up because the system's slowing down. Let's short it again. And then let it build with some more speed. Let's power run back to the cap. Move the coil closer. The caps are filling up. Under, under dead short at the back through the transformer and yet it's still accelerating disconnect the load and do that one last time just to show it again and then I'm going to short across the AC so this power from here is going to short directly across the AC at these points here so just to show that one last time it seems really slowing down under, under the capacitor load Release the power. Oops. 
and the whole thing speeds up. I'm going to disconnect the transformer. There is impedance in the transformer, so this will accelerate. Or won't. You son of a gun. Right, what's actually happened is I've just knocked the wire with my hand. Simple as that. Nah. Okay. So I'm gonna again fill up the capacitors to slow the motor down. To fill up the to slow you down you Okay, it's accelerating again. Maybe I've got the AC section at the back. You know when things don't work off camera, or do work off camera, but don't on camera. So that's going to fill up the caps again. I'm going to move that even closer because I want it to slow down. Oh, come on, I need lens law this time. I need you. <laughs> okay, so it's not. Working good. You can hear it slightly act slightly different when I've disconnected the wire at the back. So hopefully this time round it will slow down. We'll move that even closer. Okay, so when that's at a sufficiently low speed, I'm going to dead short the AC at the back here because I want to see if there is lens effect at lower speed. And I couldn't achieve a lower speed with this. So, let's see how low it will go. That sounds like as low as it can. So that's in the a short now at the back directly from this the coil to the back. Now I'm gonna there's a power in the capacitor so now I'm gonna dump that back into the coil. Yep, because there's still power in the capacitors it's causing that slowing down. Dump the free power again. And the system accelerates into dead short. Um, I can't put the motor directly to the back because this is a transformer. This is working backwards. It's meant to have 240 volts uh, British standard mains coming in and then it will put out the power this end. But I don't know what this transformer is actually. But I've got it working backwards so it's very high voltage coming out the back here. Uh, so I guess I can short it again. So again, uh, well, the main question, actually, the whole thing, the purpose of this is... So yeah, what the hell is that? Hmm. Um, is that normal? Is that meant to happen? Because, I don't know, I've, I've been doing all this stuff. All of this stuff, and all of that stuff, and all of uh, that stuff, oh, and all of this stuff for quite a long time and it's only just now that I've had this this coil do that so if anybody can explain it or if you can't if I want to something let me know please okay then uh, have a nice day as it is outside